bright duty every student matters hello students today we will be taking up chapter 4 from your english reader textbook the name of the chapter is the ashes that made trees bloom what do you understand by this topic what does it suggest do you actually think that ashes can help the tree in blooming what are the uh, things that help the, a tree in blooming well what i understand is manures are required fertilizers are required a uh, good soil is required but ashes let us read in the chapter does actually ashes help in the blooming of the trees or not but before we start the chapter we'll read the snippet what this chapter is all about this is a story about an honest and hard working old couple and their pet dog the neighbors are troublesome and the dog dies a sad death the spirit of the dog gives solace and support to his master in unexpected ways so now let us understand what is this story all about this story is about an honest and a hard working old couple okay and their pet dog so this is about a uh, honest and honest and a hard working old couple and their pet dog their neighbors the neighbors are troublesome so the neighbors of this old couple they are they are troublesome they are creating nuisance they are creating trouble for this old couple and the dog dies a sad death and eventually in the story we will read further that the dog Uh, of this uh, old couple it dies a sad death the spirit of the dog gives solace and support to his master in unexpected ways we all know that the dogs are the most loyal animals so now that the dog dies the spirit of the dog it gives solace and support to his master in the ways which are least expected what does solace means solace means uh, to give some a person or a thing which makes you feel happier or gives you some peace or makes you comfortable when you are sad or disappointed so the spirit of this dog it comforts the master it gives uh, you know kind of a, fe- a good feeling a happier feeling a comfortable feeling to the master in the ways which are not really expected in the good old days of the daimyos there lived an old couple whose only pet was a little dog having no children they loved it as though it were a baby so now in the uh, old days there were daimyos what are daimyos in the 19th century of japan they were the wealthy land owners the wealthy land owners in the 19th century in japan were called as daimyos right so in the good old days in the earlier times in the olden days the daimyos of of the of the old days of the daimyos there was an old couple whose only pet was a little dog so there lived an old couple in that time and they had a pet dog having no children they did not have any children so they loved it as though it were a baby because they did not have any children they loved their pet dog like a baby the old dame made it a cushion of blue crepe and at meal time muko for that was its name would sit on it as snug as any cat so the old dame as in the old woman the old lady she made a cushion of blue crepe now crepe is kind of a fabric a kind of a cloth so she made a cushion of the blue colored cloth and uh, it was you know it was very uh, comfortable for the dog and at meal time muko muko was the dog's name for that was its name so the name of the dog was muko would sit on it as snug as any cat 
so uh, the dog at the meal times it would go and sit on that cushion and it will snug in as in uh, you know feel very comfortable sit very comfortably in that cushion just like a cat the kind people fed the pet with tit bits of fish from their own chopsticks and all the boiled rice it wanted the old couple they were very very kind and very uh, generous towards the dog they loved it like the uh, their own baby and they used to feed the dog with their tidbits of fish fish and uh, some boiled rice which the dog always wanted they in fact uh, feed the dog fed the dog with their own chopsticks i mean they used to you know feed the dog with their own chopsticks Uh, the tidbits of fish and the boiled rice the treated the dumb creature loved its protectors like a being with a soul a being with a soul means like a human child showing emotion so because of the kind of affection and the kind of love the dog used to get from the old couple it it you know it used to uh, love the old couple back just like a human it felt as if a human being is showing the emotions right the old man being a rice farmer went daily with hoe and spade into the fields working hard from morning until oh tentosama as the sun is called had gone down behind the hills so this old man he was very very hard working fellow right so he used to go early in the morning to the fields and work very hard till the sun used to go down so they call the sun as o tento sama they call in the japanese language as the sun is cold so sun in the japanese language is language is called as o tento sama so this fellow he was a rice farmer the old old man he was a rice farmer and he used to go to the uh, fields very early in the morning and he he used to take his spade his hoe spade and hoe are the you know um, equipments or instruments you which are which are used for farming so he used to take his spade, spade and hoe and go to the fields early in the morning and work hard till the sun used to set every day the dog followed him to work never once harming the white heron that walked in the footsteps of the old man to pick up the worms now since every morning the uh, dog used to follow the old man he used to follow him to the fields and he used to just you know go behind him till he reaches the field the dog never ever harmed the white herons that walked in the footsteps of the old man to pick up the worms as in he never harmed the uh, white herons which used to you know you know which were you know in the path of the old man while he was going to the fields the dog was very kind too for the old fellow was patient and kind to everything that had life and often turned up a sword on purpose to give food to the birds for the old fellow was patient and kind to everything that had life the old man he was very very kind and compassionate to each and every living being be it an insect or an animal or just any living being the man was very kind to everything which had life and he often turned up a sword on purpose to give food to the birds on purpose means intentionally sword is like a bowl so this old fellow he used to you know uh, make a bowl to feed the birds because he was very compassionate toward the living beings so he used to uh, do it intentionally i mean he used to uh, you know make a sword uh, or a bowl you can say and fill it with uh, with food to feed the birds one day the dog came running to him putting his paw against his legs and motioning with his head to some spot behind so now what happened 
one day the dog came running towards the old man and he you know he put his uh, paws over his knees if the dog wants to communicate something there are you know two three actions what they do either they will wag their tail they will try to pull you so this fellow this dog it put his uh, his front paws on the old man's knees his legs and he you know motioning he he tried to motion his he, he was motioning his head as in he was trying to uh, communicate he was trying to tell him to to come with him to to a particular spot right so the old man at first thought his pet was only playing and did not mind it so the old man first thought that the pet is trying to play with him he is just playing and he uh, he did not understand if the if the dog was trying to communicate something so he thought the dog is just playing and did not give much attention to it did not bother about it but the dog kept on whining and running to and fro for some minutes but because the dog wanted to communicate something so he kept on running from one place to another then uh, i mean he went to that spot he came back to the old man then again went to the spot came back to the old man so he kept on running to and fro with that particular whine that particular noise then the old man followed the dog a few yards to a place where the animal began a lively scratching but then the old man somehow kind of understood that the draw that the dog he is trying to communicate something probably he wants the old man to go to a, a, a to a place to a spot where he wanted to show something so the old man followed the dog and they went to a place which was little 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 away few yards you can say few yards away and then they stopped and at some point at at, at a particular point the dog started scratching the ground so the old man was seeing everything thinking it was possibly a buried bone or bit of fish the old man struck his hoe in the earth when lo a pile of gold gleamed before him now what happened the old man thought that it would be some uh, buried bone or probably fish which would which would be there inside the ground but now what happened he struck his hoe he he dug the floor he dug the ground and he found what he found a pile of gold a pile of gold gleamed before him gleamed meaning gleamed means shone or glittered so the moment he dug the earth he found a pile of gold thus in an hour the old couple were made rich and what happened with the pile of gold they were made rich the the good souls bought a piece of land made a feast for their friends and gave plentifully to their poor neighbors they were good people they were good souls so they bought a piece of land for themselves and with the rest of money they made a feast for their friends feast as in a great meal so they made meal for their friends and gave plentifully to their poor neighbors plentifully as in uh, a huge amount so they gave a huge amount of uh, money or probably helped their poor neighbors as for the dog they petted him till they nearly smothered him with kindness this all happened because of the dog right so what did they do with the dog they petted him with lot of affection and love till the time they smothered him with kindness now what does smothered means it means to show a lot of love and affection in order to protect someone so they petted him they loved him a lot till the time they they were uh, they smothered the dog with kindness now in the same village there lived a wicked old man and his wife not a bit sensitive and kind who had always kicked and scolded all dogs whenever any passed their house in the same village there lived an old couple a man and a wife who were wicked who were very uh, non compassionate they were non they were they were they were unkind they were not very good to anybody 
and especially for the dogs or the other animals the uh, small animals they were very unkind they used to kick them and scold it at least all the dogs they scolded they kicked them and scolded all dogs whenever any passed their house whenever any dog used to pass their house they used to kick it or scold him hearing of their neighbors good luck they coaxed the dog into their garden and set before him bits of fish and other dainties hoping he would find treasure for them now when they heard about the good luck their neighbors have got so they thought probably they they they, they got greedy they thought that probably they could also get the same thing so they persuaded the uh, the dog coaxed means persuaded enticed enticed mean to give greed they kind of you know pushed the dog to uh, bring them treasure so they persuaded the dog into their garden they kind of gave greed to the dog into their into their own garden by giving him bits of fish they gave him uh, bits of fish and other dainties dainties as in some goodies which a dog can eat something to uh, entice to give greed hoping he would find treasure for them they were hoping that this dog probably would find treasure for them also but the dog being afraid of the cruel pair would neither eat nor move but the dog he was afraid of the old pair because it was known fact that the old pair the old people they used to kick and scold the dogs who used to pass their houses so this dog muko he was very scared of you know uh, getting into the garden so neither did he move nor did he eat he refused to eat he did not even move nor did he eat dainties means tasty food other tasty goodies then they dragged him out of doors taking a spade and a hoe with them then they finally when they saw that the dog is neither eating nor moving they dragged him push him forcefully dragged means push him forcefully they dragged him out of the doors taking a spade and hoe with them so they pushed him towards themselves out of the door not themselves out of the doors and they took uh, they carried a hoe and a spade and they probably headed to the fields no sooner had the dog got near a pine tree growing in the garden than he began to paw and scratch the ground as if a mighty treasure lay beneath so as soon as they reached the fields the, when they got near a pine tree the dog it started you know it it stopped there and it started to scratch the ground as if he might have he 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 actually have found a treasure uh, probably beneath the ground quick wife hand me the spade and hoe so now the old man he ordered his wife quick and then he he, he said quickly hand me the uh, spade and the hoe so that he can dig the earth where the dog was scratching quick wife hand me the spade and hoe cried the greedy old fool as he danced with joy he was full of greed right so in in greedy excitement uh, he was very excited probably he thought that the go- the dog would have found the treasure so he uh, you know a uh, cried in greed and then he danced in joy and he screamed at his wife quick hand me the spade and the hoe then the covetous old fellow with the spade and the old crone with a hoe began to dig but there was nothing but a dead kitten the smell of which made them drop their tools and shut their noses so now what happened the old man got excited he thought probably the dog has uh, has uh, found a treasure for them so he quickly you know asked his wife to hand him the spade and the hoe and then they started digging the ground along with his wife covetous old fellow covetous means greedy the greedy old fellow and the old crone means the woman old woman which was old man's wife here so crone means old woman 
so along with his wife the old couple they started uh, you know digging the ground with their hoe and spade but as soon as they started digging what happened do you think there was a treasure no there was no treasure the moment they started digging they just saw a dead kitten instead of any gold treasure they saw a dead kitten and the smell of that dead kitten was so bad so bad they, that they had to drop their tools on the ground and cover their noses the 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 smell was so foul that they had to cover their noses furious at the dog the old man kicked and beat him to death and the old woman finished the work by nearly chopping off his head with the sharp ho oh. now they got so furious so angry at the dog that the old man he beat him so much he thrashed him so much that the dog died and the old woman she finished the task by almost uh, chopping off the uh, dog's head with their sharp ho oh. it is so painful right not right not good they then flung him into the hole and heaped the earth over his carcass flung him flung him means threw so in anger and they they threw the dog where did they throw it they threw the dog in the hole where they had dig where the old kitten had the dead kitten had come out so they threw the dog there and they heaped the earth as in they covered that hole probably with grass mud and whatever were, were the uh, remnants there uh, grass uh, or some tree branches or whatever was there they heaped it they covered the hole and uh, his carcass as in dead body they covered the dead body with whatever was there like mud and uh, soil uh, leaves uh, dried leaves probably uh, that sort of things the owner of the dog heard of the death of his pet and mourning for him as if he had been his own child went at night under the pine tree the owner he heard of the death of his uh, pet the old couple who was the uh, the good couple the kind old couple they heard about the death of his uh, their old pet and the old man he became so sad that he started mourning and what did he do for the mourning he he it it was like their own child the dog was like their own child so he went under the pine tree where the dog was buried he set up some bamboo tubes in the ground such as are used before tombs in which he put fresh flowers so now this old man he was uh so sad over uh, to learn about the death of his uh a dog whom he actually loved like a human child so he he went at uh, at the pine tree where the uh, dog was buried and he you know erected uh, the bamboo uh, pillars as in uh, bamboo tubes it fe- like the, the the pillars of a tomb right so he erected four bamboo tubes like like this under the pine tree so he erected four bamboo tubes and then he in which he put fresh flowers and then he put fresh flowers under the pine tree then he laid a cup of water and a tray of food on the grave and burned several costly sticks of incense so in love for the dog or he was mourning for the dog so much that he laid some fresh uh, food and a tray of fresh food and a cup of water and he also lighted some real costly incense sticks incense sticks are the sticks which give a uh, good fragrance right so the he he burned several uh, costly incense sticks he mourned a great while over his pet calling him many dear names as if he were alive the old man was so sad he was mourning over the death of his dog and he was you know lovingly calling him uh, dear names like his as if the dog was alive he was you know kind of missing him so much and he was you know trying to pet him 
by calling him uh, some some dear names and it felt like as if the dog was still alive that night the spirit of the dog appeared to him in a dream and said cut down the pine tree over my grave and make from it a mortar for your rice pastry and a mill for your bean sauce now that night when the old man went to sleep the the spirit of that dog his beloved dog the spirit of that dog it appeared in the dreams of the old man and the, the spirit said cut down the pine tree over my grave the grave where i am buried the pine tree under which i am buried cut down that pine tree make from it a mortar for your rice pastry and then it said uh, from the wood of that pine tree make a mortar what is a mortar mortar is like a bowl mortar is a bowl so uh, the spirit said make a bowl from the wood of that pine tree and make the bowl for the rice pastry the rice pastry you will be making so make a bowl for that and a mill for your bean sauce mill is again another utensil and make a mill out of that wood for your bean sauce the bean sauce you will be making in future make a mill for that see the old man is sleeping and he is dreaming about the uh the the pine tree and see this is these are the bamboos uh, he had erected over here all right so the old man chopped down the tree and cut out of the middle of the trunk a section about 2 feet long so the old man he went to the next morning probably he went to the uh, pine tree and he chopped down the tree cut out the middle of the trunk the trunk of the pine tree he cut down the middle of the trunk and a section about 2 feet long almost 2 feet long section of that trunk he cut he chopped with great labor partly by fire partly by the chisel he scraped out a hollow place as big as a small bowl so now after chopping down the tree and cutting the middle of the trunk almost a section of about 2 feet long with a lot of effort he took a lot of labor he did a lot of labor you know a lot of effort he took and partly by fire and partly by chisel now chisel is an instrument which is used to uh, you know carve or scrape uh, a wood or probably uh, some stone or uh, some pebble some uh, anything made up of some powder a cement so chisel is kind of an instrument which is used to scrape or dig you can say a small instrument but very sharp so partly by fire with lot of effort he he used fire and he used chisel and he scraped out a hollow place as big as a small bowl so with using these two things fire and the chisel he finally managed to big, make a small bowl he then made a long handled hammer of wood such as is used for pounding rice pounding means crushing or grinding so now what happened first he made a small bowl which was which was uh, called as mortar and then he made a long handled hammer of wood then a long handled hammer of wood he made which is used for crushing the rice you know pounding crushing the rice he made a long handled hammer of wood when new year's time drew near he wished to make some rice pastry so when it was the time of new year he wanted to make some rice pastry when the rice was all boiled granny put it into the mortar the old man lifted his hammer to pound the mass into dough and the blows fell heavy and fast till the pastry was all ready for baking 
so when the new year's time came they had they wa they wanted to make some rice pastry so the rice when it was all boiled the old woman granny here means the old woman the wife of the old man so the granny she put all the rice into the mortar into the bowl and the old man he lifted the hammer and started crushing the rice why was he crushing the rice so that the rice becomes a kind of dough a dough is made of that and then they can make a pastry of it so uh, he started crushing the, uh, the he was he started crushing uh, crushing the mass of the rice the rice right the blows fell heavy the blows of that uh, long uh, hammered wood piece it was it fell very heavy so it was it was you know they were very forceful and fast till the pastry was all ready for baking that the dough pre was prepared in a well manner and it was all ready for baking the blows of that hammer it was quite uh, you know strong heavy and fast suddenly the whole mass turned into a heap of gold coins suddenly what happened the whole mass of rice dough it ch changed into a heap of gold coins all rice was converted into gold coins heap means kind of a mountain when the old woman took the hand mill and filling it with beans began to grind the gold dropped like rain and when the old woman she took the hand mill now what is a hand mill hand mill is a mill which is used for grinding grain pepper coffee it is usually a handmade thing it is used you know uh, it is used by manual power a person use that hand mill it is kind of a mill only which is used for grinding uh, grains and pepper and such things so when she started when she took the hand mill and started filling the uh, beans in it and started to grind now what is grind grind means reducing a substance into fine particles by crushing it okay so when she started when she filled the hand mill with the beans and she began to grind the gold dropped like rain the beans they converted into gold and it dropped like rain now what does dropped like rain means it is you know the drops of gold are continuously uh, falling down okay meanwhile the envious neighbor peeped in at the window when the boiled beans were being ground but the envious neighbor the bad fellow he started he peeped in at the window he he peeped in as in looking secretively he started to peep inside uh, while the boiled beans the beans were being ground he saw that the beans are being converted into gold goody me cried the old hag as she saw each dripping of sauce turning into yellow gold until in a few minutes the tub under the mill was full of a shining mass of gold the old woman uh, the old woman of that couple who, who was not very kind so the old hag means the old woman goody me she cried as if uh, she was surprised she was taken aback she was aghast she was excited she 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 felt greedy as if you know uh, she probably wanted to uh, get that mill so that she can convert her beans into gold as well so she cried in excitement good day me she saw each dripping of sauce as in the beans which were dripping which was converting into gold and finally the whole tub was full with yellow gold it wasn't sauce at all it turned into yellow gold and it was shining mass of yellow gold 
so the old couple were rich again so now the kind old couple the good people they were rich again because they got so much of gold the next day the stingy and the wicked neighbor came and borrowed the mortar and the magic mill stingy means miserly as in people who are not very uh, big hearted uh, who are you know very uh, very miser kind of people who are who, who doesn't want to they don't want to share things with uh, others they don't want to talk about their things to others like that so now the next day the stingy and the wicked neighbor came and borrowed the mortar and the magic mill so those wicked people they came again back back to their neighbors the good old neighbors and they borrowed their mortar and the magic mill they filled one with boiled rice and other with beans so the mill they filled it with beans and the uh, mortar they filled with boiled rice then the old man began to pound and the woman to grind so now the woman the old woman she started to grind the beans and the old man he started to pound the uh, boiled rice but at the first blow and turn the first blow of that uh, pounding crushing of the uh, rice in the mortar and the first turn when she was trying to grind the old woman the first turn of the mill and the first blow of the uh, rice in the mortar the pastry and sauce turned into a foul mass of worms the pastry the the rice it turned into the foul mass of worms it all changed the sauce and the rice it all changed into a dirty smelling bad smelling a uh, mass of worms insects still more angry at this they chopped the mill into pieces to use as firewood they got so angry to see this that they chopped the mill they you know they, they they break it they broke it they chopped it into pieces and they 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 intended to use it as a firewood